Have you ever been told when hell freezes over? Sharon Hornelstrom here with Supersize Your Business. And our idiom, our expression today is when hell freezes over. This is an expression that was first used in the 19th century, Middle American English. And there's quite a few hell idioms, not a ton, but there's a few. And they all talk about how hot hell is, that it's the hottest place in the universe. And basically this idiom means it's not going to happen. Now, I remember being a teenager, or maybe it was in junior high, and I saw a post-it note. No, my dad worked at 3M, so there were always lots of post-it notes around our house. And on top of a, a binder, there was a post-it note, and it just had the big letters NFW written on it in big capital letters. And for a long time, I didn't know what that meant. And then, I, I think I asked my mom, I got up the gumption to ask my mom, I'm like, Mom, what does NFW mean? And she told me what it meant. I was probably in high school by the time she told me what it meant, but... I always thought that was a great way of responding to people, meaning it was an, it, it's a, this is a solid no. It's a solid no, this is not going to happen. We're not going to do this project or proposal or whatever it is. And you can say the initials without actually using the swear word by using NFW. But NFW, when hell freezes over, neither one of them are very nice ways of saying no, or it's not going to happen, or there's there's a very, 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 very slim chance it will happen. Now, I don't know about you, but in growing my various businesses throughout my life and, and my career, I've been told no a lot. No, and you can't do that, or who do you think you are to do that, or what makes you think you can do that? Nobody else has pulled that off before. And it's kind of like putting lighter fluid on the flames and on the fire when somebody says that to me. It's like, my dad raised my sisters and I with the saying, there's no such thing as can't. You might not want to do it. You might not want to figure it out. You might not be committed to it. But <clears throat> when you're saying can't, 90 plus percent of the time, I know somebody will, will message me some, well, you can't do this. Well, you know what? I can't be a professional basketball player because I'm five foot one and a half and I'm 61 years old. You're right. But I wouldn't even want to do that. So it's about the things that we want to do. We want to go after that. There's no such thing as we can't do them. If we get the idea, it it's, comes to us for a reason because we're supposed to be the steward of that idea. So curious today, has anyone ever told you as you've been supersizing and growing your business, you can't do something or that it's impossible or that it's impossible for you? Um, usually, I get a, kind of offended because people aren't necessarily saying they're impossible that it's impossible to do something, especially if someone else has already done it. They're saying they don't believe that I can do it. And it doesn't matter what they believe. All that matters is that I believe I can make it happen, that you believe you can make it happen. So search out, this, this expression always reminds me to search out people and network with people and mastermind with people and talk to people and engage with people that are supportive and have similar beliefs, knowing that Whatever we desire, whatever we want, we can make possible in our lives if we so choose. So share in the comments below your your experience with this particular idiom. I guarantee I have told my kids on occasion that something won't happen or it will happen when hell freezes over. Guarantee I've used that. No, my parents have used it, uh, but uh, I don't use it very often. It's one of those things you use sparingly, kind of like cursing. All right. Any questions, hit me up. Otherwise, I will be with you tomorrow with another less flammable, less uh, negative. Oh, my gosh, I'm burning my bear. That just seems so wrong. <laughs> Idiom related to December and the holidays. Have an awesome day. I'll be with you tomorrow. Bye.